Hello and welcome to YouTube channel of RVMax.us. My name is Sachin Shaw and you guys, uh, subscribers, see our son doing a video all the time. Let me go ahead and give you our phone numbers right now. 864-404-0054 is my number and our son number is 864-376-5600. Today we're presenting you one owner, 2004 Tiffin Phaeton Model 40 TGH. That's Tango Golf Hotel, TGH. Triple slide out, windshields are free from any cracks or any star cracks, really good shape. We got a little bit of a 3M film is kind of messed up here. I, th I would say it's more of a clear coat. Uh, 7,500 Onan generator, it's on a slide tray. You pop a little cable and it slides out manually. We just had both sides decals repainted. While the body shop guy was here, he buffed out both headlights. Check them out, they look like a brand new headlight that increase your uh, visibility at night tremendously. Uh, so it's a, uh, rides on a Freightliner chassis, has a 330 CAT C7 Caterpillar diesel engine, turbocharged. Uh, it's got a gray, champagne, purple, and burgundy, like four or five colors. Uh, Elko aluminum wheels, Michelin tires were installed in October or November of 17. They're about three years old. The date codes are somewhere in late 16. So tires got plenty of life. They were covered up when we got it from him. He has a, each tire covered up. Uh, so, you know, really, really good shape. Practically got 1,000 miles after he put a motor, tires on. His wife passed away and sold a motorhome to us. Take a look at the slide out topper. No tearing up, good, good, good shape. We got an acrylic awning on top of the living room slide. Over here, first compartment has LP gas. Second compartment has a slide out tray that goes complete pass through. Third compartment is also pass through, but does not have a, a slide out tray. I'll show you from the other side. 10 gallon water heater. So as you see, gold, uh, burgundy, purple, gray, all those stripes were redone. We just sprayed them. This is your wet, wet bay. You got a water filter over here. Your usual stuff, you know, gray tank and black tank, got a water pump uh, switch there. You got outside shower, a little soap stuff. You got a city water connection, all that stuff. You got a sewer hose, uh, what do you call the uh, sewer flush. Take a look at this aluminum wheels. I mean, they're shiny, really, really nice. No d lamb on the body, straight body. Um, I think over here we have a 50 amp power cord automatic transfer switch, additional compartment here, shiny little exhaust tip, got a couple of little uh, scuff mark, nice radiator back here, I believe 10,000 pound towing capacity, please check out description, it's got a one solid fiberglass roof on top, it does have a some people, they have subscribed to our video, they say, hey man, this guy's going fast. Well, we got a lot of mud on, we're just trying to put him up. He's in a summer school right now, our son is. So it does have a full, take a look at our pictures. It's got a full fiberglass roof, got a king dome on top. Over here, we have a 2,000 watts inverter. Some of the solenoid for your chassis and all that stuff. Over here is your chassis part. Well, that's coach part, that's chassis, you got an ECM all that for Freightliner chest. Over here we have a four, we're gonna have a new handle put on, we just ordered it. It does have a four golf cart type six volt deep cycle marine batteries for your coach and two chassis batteries are located right here. So we got another acrylic awning on a bedroom, acrylic awning on a patio, it's got electric awning for this and an entrance awning. This is your third slide out that slides the kitchen out. All these doors open up, let me go ahead and get this. Over here we have Dirt Devil vacuum cleaner, central vacuum system. So take a look at this, look at the fabric. That shows you how well kept this motorhome was, or is. Over here we got a, all the tire covers when we picked the motorhome up in Georgia. I think these are your sunscreen. That's backside of the refrigerator, refrigerator vent cover. A little more storage here. 
Now, if you get really close, you could see the decals was cracked up and were painted on top. Uh, gold color, you can't tell, but you know, overall, it looks a whole lot better than when we got it. It was just, you know, dry rotted from a sun damage on this side more than other side. So we got electric uh, awning also. Look at the roof condition. It's clean as a snow, a white as a milk. It's got this king dome dish. All the front cap seals, they probably a little dark, but no dry rot at crack. Over here, shrouds are not cracked up, really good condition. Really good solid one piece fiberglass roof. All the vent lids look good, skylight looks good, good coach. Excellent roof. Thank you. Just wanted to emphasize on this. Uh, headlights that we had. It's this minor detail that sometimes we pay attention to. The body shop guy was here, so he was going to charge me a little extra. We did that. Again, it's not a brand new motorhome, but you know, by taking care of a boat side of decals and shining the headlights, you still get the little clear coat spot for free. And here, may have some flaws, but it's a desirable coach. Let's step inside this motorhome. Check it out right here. The hardwood floor, one of our guy that does this floor. Oh, we got to get this little eraser. That's pencil. He spent about a one day on this coach, I mean, on the steps. Check it out. Even the uh, air-powered step cover, we put hardwood floors there, too. So this is an LVP, luxurious vinyl plank floor, about eh, roughly $3 a square feet. Sometimes we get a deal at $2.49 a square feet. Check it out back here, too. Um, even the carpet's been removed here under the passenger seat, driver's seat. They come in and shut the door. So you got a tile here when you come in. And uh, check it out. All right, now we're sitting on a cockpit, driver's seat, flex still, beautiful, comfortable seat. It is a power seat. That's a nice thing. Uh, the brake pedal, fuel pedal is adjustable. Look at the hardwood floor. It goes all the way back there. It takes a lot more labor to do all this stuff, but we take it was a carpet there. Uh, so let's turn the engine on here. You turn the ignition on, instrumentation light panel would light up. Wait to start light is here. When it goes off, you go ahead and crank it up. All right, let's see. Uh, we have a black and white backup monitor. Uh, old school radio. Ooh, that's a. Uh, 89.3. So, you know, for about seven, eight hundred dollars, you can replace this with a nice color backup monitor if you'd like to. Uh, 65,043 miles, two cigarette lighter hookups, one for your cell phone, one for GPS. Dash area is pretty cool. Uh, we got a power mirrors, heated mirrors, nine, 1519 hours. Mass at center would tell you if you have a low air or low fuel, I mean, low air pressure or or, 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 or other messages like um, fuel or all that stuff. All right, so headlights, you got a left fan, right fan. It's got a, a fans up in the da, uh, up in the ceiling area. CB radio, six-bit Allison. Uh, air brakes here, got a little cup holder. All the buttons are here for your control, control shades, dock lights. You got an adjustable pedal. They go up and down according to the uh, past the driver's legs. You got a map light, exhaust brake is one of the important things. Back here at HWH leveling jacks, they are computerized automatic level. You got a telescopic and tilt steering wheel. Uh, swivel, this seat would swivel. You got a drawer full of stuff. I've got a remote control for a patio awning that you can control it. Uh, let's see, it's right here. Probably need a battery so you can control your electric awnings. I have my phone and stuff in here right now. A couple of cup holders. All right, so you saw towels here. I think I mentioned it. We had a couple of cutting. So passenger seat, see it swivels. You hit the button and the, uh, the step cover comes up. You have a, you know, uh, there we go little 
footrest. This thing can turn around. This table actually disappears. That's our gizmo here. But this table can stores back in the wall. Got two cup holders. Another uh, recliner. Over here, we had all kinds of paperwork. They are on the uh, dinette. And I'll show you. You got a thermostat with electric heat. So it does have electric heat, which is a heat pump. Uh, that's a Coleman Mac, really good system. Uh, up front, while you're here, let me go ahead and show you. This is where you control your inverter. You've got a, a King Dome satellite dish up on top, your water heater, your slide out control, your level test, all that stuff's here. Got an old school VCR with a video distribution box. Over here, you have a five disc changer with a surround sound system. They changed the Westinghouse digital TV, as you can see. You could probably put a bigger TV if you like to. This looks like a, what is 27 inch or something. Uh, so it is a one owner, and uh, they took it to Tiffin many, many times. Uh, this privacy curtain got a little more condensation stain, and that's coming from simply camping in the winter or something. You got really cold outside, and you want in a real nice heat. This side, these are not that bad. But for a couple of hundred bucks, you can have new uh, privacy curtains. Let's see. Uh, so floor, it's just gorgeous floor. It's called natural maple. It's LVP. Uh, unfortunately, they discontinued. We can't even find it anymore. We love this floor. This is a full bed that pulls out. Look at our pictures. Nice leather or leather-like. Uh, no excessive wear or tears or anything. My God, it is comfy. All right, over here we got a four, two additional chairs back there. Take a look at this upholstery. I mean, it's in good shape. No stains. They were an adult owner, so they were in the 80s uh, when they sold it to us. Got nice little countertop back there. These are day and night shade. So right now we got day shade down. You can put down a night shade. A nice, beautiful, what do you call this color, boo? -boo? Cherry, oak. I don't know. I'm not really good at it. Maybe oak. Uh, but here's the important part. You got Tiffin uh, books in here, some more paperwork here. Got an electrical diagram for the whole coach if you want it. It's, it's with it. Uh, some more owner's manuals and stuff here. But this is the important folder. Look at these invoices. Just a whole bunch of them. Over here is all Tiffin. He's got them organized. Speaking of that, we'll probably list his... Uh, travel log. He had a travel log from his first modem. He tech kept his when he drove it. So let's just say if he left Greenville at uh, 630. And when he got, arrived to Atlanta at um, 8, 9 o'clock, and then how many miles were there when he got there? He, he kept travel log meticulously maintained. But this is very important. Got all the uh, maintenance record there. We didn't change the carpet here because you look at it. I mean, carpet's in really good shape. We just didn't like the carpet on the floor there. Got some cabinets back there. A uh, uh, table comes out, thank you. And then you can put two extra chairs so four people can comfortably sit there. Uh, over here, nice little counter space. And this is where you access your, I get it's got a little, but it, it does have a washer, dryer, uh, prep, so you can just slide one in there and remove this shelf. So if you'd like to have a washer, dryer combo, this is where it'll go. Speaking of nice kitchen area, got nice counter space. Take a look at it; it's very clean. Even, even, even the, you know, the backsplash and the, the walls, all us, you know, no, no signs of any water leaks or anything like that. By the way, as we came in, I didn't mention it, but this is a non-smoker, non-pad owner motorhome. You got a traditional oven with a three-burner stove as well as convection oven. Side by side refrigerator here that runs on LP gas or electric. Got an ice maker, little ice tray here. So this slide and that slide gives you plenty of room here. So if you're looking at some of the diesel pusher with only two slides on the driver's side, nothing wrong with it. Having an additional slide just expands the uh, living room. Uh, let's see, down here. Look at the tiles. I don't see any cracked tiles. And that's just a, a sign of a extremely well taken care of motorhome. Over here we do have a pantry that you can put some canned goods, you kind of lift it and pull it out. We'll start. You can adjust those shelves and you got some more deep drawers. We do have a privacy 
door for a bathroom area as you come in. I'm going to lock that back up. Walk over here, check out. We've got nice counter space on this one sink. It has a double sink. One is in toilet area. I'll show you that in just a minute. Got lots of storage and drawers. Over here, we have a nice little bathtub. Uh, wow, that kind of reminds me of beach with a palm tree. I'm going to step in here with my Hoka shoes. I'm a little over six feet, and you can comfortably take shower. Nice, nice uh, daylight, or what do you call the skylight. And uh, so it's not just a stand up shower, you got a nice little tub. Over here, we have a toilet area, and the tile continues in the toilet area. It does have another sink and a little fan up on top. You got another medicine cabinet on top and some storage under there and even got a magazine pocket holder. How about that? And this is a little, I guess, towel holder. So back here, we have a two doors. They're like a French type door. Can you call a French door boo boo on this if they don't have a window? Can you still call French door? French door has a windows. This is just a double sided door. So it gives you complete privacy back in the bedroom. I'm going to lock them back up. They're locked. So we continue putting a hardwood floor back here. It did have a carpet back here. Only place there is a carpet left is on the vertical area and the engine cover back here. Uh, this is original bed covering. You can change it. Uh, so slide in the bedroom gives you plenty of room to walk around there, as you can see. Both sides of the bed has a nice little windows. Those are a really nice feature. I like those better than having a, a window in the back. Man, I, I get cold so, so easy. We had American Eagle. Remember one of our Eagle boo -boo in the back? I used to get cold. I like the windows on the side. Also, you can prop up your mirror, uh, pillows, and you are getting on the back this headboard, which is a mirror on this, this, this case. But i uh, got some reading lights, some cabinet up on top. we got vanity drawers there and a little vanity space. Over here, we have another little... And over here, we've got a, a central vacuum system. And it does have a hookup right dead center in the motorhome, so it can extend to the front and the back. Uh, all kinds of attachments are there. Dirt Devil, you saw it down below. So, you know, pretty deep space here. We've got some cabinets. Uh, still got an old boob tube here. You can take it out and put a new one. This is your 120 circuit breakers and a 12-volt uh, fuses are located right there. So more storage. Back here, we have a nice coat closet, pretty wide. Uh, two extra chairs, as I mentioned, extra tile, never been used since 2004. He does have a little extra, little uh, steering wheel platform, and it's got some more storage back here. By the way, we got the handle on this side is broken, but it still opens up with your finger and you can close it. It's got nice little nightstand on both sides to put your books and got a little drawer here got a iphone charger or whatever android whatever charger is there should have some uh, charger there too so this will uh, conclude our video on this 2004 tiffin phaeton model 40 tg8 that's tango golf hotel triple slide 330 caterpillar 65,000 miles about 1500 hours on on and generator that's on a slide tray. Triple slide, we painted both sides of a stripes, or what do you call the, I guess that's what you call, right? Stripes. So it looks really good. It's not perfect. It will never be. It's a 16 years old, one owner motorhome, very well capped. Uh, few flaws, but you know, uh, overall it'll be a turnkey when you come here. Refrigerator will be ice cold. Water heater will be working. Air condition works. Heater works. Uh, we'll hand you key. You can go camp. So let's sum it up here. We help you get financing if you have a good credit. Something with a lower credit, we just don't have a lot of plans, but anything over 650 or 700 above is preferred. We take trades, we help you get financing. We do, do sell warranties if you'd like to buy a warranty uh, at additional cost. Let's see, uh, what else I can cover here? Phone numbers, 864-404-0054. Uh, that's my number, 864-404-0054. You can always call our son, Mayan, 864-376-5600. He's in a summer school right now, a college. So uh, give me a call on him. We prefer text. We'll get back to you. 
Uh, please subscribe to our channel and, and click the like button below on this our YouTube channel. And if you miss out on this moto, maybe there'll be another one. So please subscribe to our channel. Uh, thank you and have a blessed day.